An update now from our Mountain Newsroom. A multi-million dollar fire suppression system got a workout at the Eisenhower and Johnson tunnels along I-70. On Monday, a van caught fire inside the tunnel. Everybody was able to get out safely. Though. Yeah, but of course, it did cause a major mm -hmm. traffic issue. Your Mountain Newsroom reporter Spencer Wilson is live outside the tunnels now. Spencer, the tunnels are back open, but you can still see that damage inside. Oh yeah, if you're paying attention as you go through the Eisenhower westbound, you'll see that the tiles atop the area up there about 100 yards in are scorched. So yeah, they're working on getting those replaced over time. But besides that, this kind of went the best that it could considering no one hurt. They got the van out. That's kind of the best you can go in terms of a fire inside of the tunnels. Now, a car fire in the tunnel is a nightmare for the CDOT team as it can get really dangerous really quickly. Thankfully, the fire suppression system installed in 2015 got to work on the problem and got the fire manageable so local firefighters could come out and get the van out. Even though it is safe now to drive through, crews will still need to replace the burnt tiles and make sure nothing else was damaged. But they were closing down parts of the tunnel at night already doing construction. We have a project underway in the tunnel to replace the network of cameras, and I think we had the work was continuing last night. Now tonight at 6 on CBS Colorado, I will explain why CDOT told me they wouldn't be that surprised if we had another fire, at least along I-70, hopefully not inside of the tunnel, because of course that's the worst spot for them to be. It makes everybody else get trapped in there as well. But I mean, right now it is possible. So they're warning folks to be prepared for this. We'll explain why. Just coming up live at the Eisenhower and Johnson Tunnel, Spencer Wilson, covering Colorado first. And we'll look forward to that report, Spencer. Spencer covers the stories impacting our communities across the high country. Make sure you know what's going on in your town. You can reach out to him by calling 303-863-TIPS or through our website, cbscolorado.com.